Las Vegas has a new immersive art exhibit, and it's not like any we've seen so far. The artist behind the project says he wants to make climate education memorable and fun. 13 Action News' Amy Abdel Sayad takes you inside Arcadia Earth. We all have the power to impact others. It's a choice. Years ago, Valentino Vittori faced that choice in a way that would forever change the trajectory of his life. My background is in fashion. As an artist, he found the fashion industry was how he could tell stories. Many years ago, I did an event and it lasted one week. And I created a 14 trucks of garbages and I was looking at it and I realized that I am in pollution. Fashion was more than a creative outlet. It was how he supported his family. But Valentino says his job was also jeopardizing their future. So I left. I make a quick change. He decided to refocus his talents, collaborating with other artists and designing Arcadia Earth. The mission uh, is uh, to inspire, inform, and activate anyone who is interested in climate change. The experience spans across 15 rooms, each with different themes and ways to engage. At times, you'll find augmented reality. The space come to life. Virtual reality. We put you eye to eye with the animals. Repurposed materials. Fishermen left uh, all the nets on the dock for more than 15 years. Uh, projection mapping. This room, um, we call it biophilia. Relations between the human being uh, and nature. Even smell stations. If you close your eye and you smell, it remind you of the smell of the rain when it hits the cement. Valentino uses the installations and technology to activate the senses and do what he does best, tell a story. We are talking in a positive way about climate change, where it's no longer terrifying, but it's fun. Give you a little bit of memories or experiences that you can capture and share with your friends. At the end of each room, you'll find a monitor with information about the artists and the grim facts that inspired their work. The Rainbow Cave, for example, is made of 60,000 recycled plastic bags. Valentino says that's a fraction of what we use globally, not every day or every hour or even every minute, but every second. It's not all bad news though. Also on the monitors, you'll find actions you can take to make a difference. Every day, little changes that can have an impact. Each room highlights a challenge, but it also gives you the opportunity to make a change. And he's excited to bring the exhibit to Las Vegas, partly because of our conservation efforts. We really were fascinating by what we found. Las Vegas is a leader when it comes to water conservation. 40% of the water we use gets pumped right back into Lake Mead, and we continue to take steps to lower our water footprint. Still, water conservation is an ongoing effort, and at Arcadia Earth, it's just one chapter in a larger story. A story that Valentino says needs to be told. We spend the entire days on a cell phone, sharing sometimes nonsense. Well, maybe we could uh, take a moment to start sharing something that is important. And therefore, using our social media, our network uh, to create awareness, uh, it's probably one of the greatest things we can do from home without many efforts. Learn more about Arcadia Earth on ktmb.com art. For How To Vegas, I'm Amy Abdelsayed.